with copycat.com. Today we are revisiting the melting pot. I just love that restaurant. It's a fondue restaurant where every course is a fondue. And today we're starting out with one of their starter courses. We're doing their traditional cheese fondue. So let me tell you what we have in here. Now we are using a wine. We're using an inexpensive Chardonnay wine. You need to use a dry wine for this. And again, it really doesn't matter which brand, just don't spend too much money on it. You do want to make sure that the wine is drinkable, but it doesn't need to be fabulous. Because we're putting so many other things in there. We need about a half pound of Emmentaler cheese. We also need about a half pound of Swiss, or like Jarlsberg cheese. We need a little bit of lemon juice. We need some flour and we also need some garlic. All right, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and we wanna chop up a couple of garlic cloves, because this is what's really gonna give our fondue some nice flavor. You can be more generous with the garlic if you like. It's an individual choice there. I like just a couple of cloves in there. One thing I love about fondue is that it comes together very, very quickly. Now, if you don't have a fondue pot, you can use a double boiler. So that'll work really well. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our fondue pot to about a medium heat. We're gonna start by adding in four ounces of wine and our garlic. And while this is heating up together, I'm gonna to go ahead and grate the cheese. I'm actually gonna grate the cheese into a bowl because we're gonna to toss a little bit of flour with it. That's gonna help bind the sauce together. So now we're going to go ahead and sprinkle in the flour. So I've sprinkled in the flour and we're just gonna to toss the cheese and the flour together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our lemon juice. You need about a quarter cup of lemon juice in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in mine now. We're gonna start by adding in about one third of the cheese. When it gets nice and melted, we'll add in some more cheese. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add in some more cheese. This gets nice and melted, add in another handful. So at this point, some people would add in a couple tablespoons of Kirvasha, which is a cherry type of liqueur. We're not gonna add that in today, but you are definitely welcome to add that in. Once your cheese gets nice and melted like this, we are ready to enjoy cheese fondue. So you can serve your cheese fondue with bread right here, just like this. You could also use baby cut carrots, broccoli, just about anything you like. But as you can see, it's really easy to put together cheese fondue, just like the melting pot. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up here on YouTube and subscribe so you can see what's cooking next. Thanks for watching.